Sometimes your watch band clasp will wear out before your watch band does. If you don't want to replace your whole leather watch band, you can always just replace the clasp itself. Use this guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to change simple deployment watch band clasps on leather watch bands. How do you know if your leather watch band has a deployment style clasp? When the clasp is closed, it will look like a standard leather buckle, only it will be missing the tongue portion of the clasp. And when you open it, the clasp will have a metal portion that folds over on itself, much like a fold over or trifold clasp, except it will only permanently attach to one side of the band. You will need a spring bar tool, a digital gauge, a parts tray, extra spring bars, and a replacement deployment buckle. The first thing to do will be to remove the old clasp so you can replace it and continue wearing your watch. Start by opening the watch band clasp to reveal where it attaches to the watch band. Since this clasp only attaches to one end of the band, it will be easy to tell which end to start with. Set the band on its side so you can access the hole on the top of the band where the spring bar is visible. Take your spring bar tool and insert the pointed end tip into the hole where you can see the spring bar. Push down on the spring bar to compress it and carefully slide the watch band out from under the end of the clasp. Be aware that the spring bar can unexpectedly expand once it is free and jump across your workspace. Keep it from doing so by moving slowly so you can easily pull the spring bar free with your fingers and place it in your parts tray to use later. Let the old clasp fall free of the watch band. Because of the design of the leather band, it should be easy to tell which end the clasp is attached to. Next, take the free end of your watch band where the clasp attached and measure its diameter with your digital gauge to find out what size replacement clasp you will need. Order the right size and color replacement watch band clasp once you have this measurement in hand. Remember that you can reuse your old spring bars if they are still in good condition. When you have the new clasp in hand, you will want to attach the inside end of the clasp to the free end of your watch band that you measured before. Start by taking your spring bar and insert it into the free end of the watch band. Then, holding the clasp on its side, turn the band on its side and position the band inside the clasp so that the bottom end of the spring bar rests in the hole for it in the clasp. Be sure that when you close the clasp, it will sit inside the band and be hidden from view. Next, take your spring bar tool and use the forked end to press the free end of the spring bar down and into the watch band so you can slide it completely into the watch clasp end. Once the watch band is inside the clasp, carefully remove your spring bar tool and wiggle the watch band around under the clasp until the spring bar slips into place in the hole in the clasp. You may have to do it more than once to get it into place. With the watch clasp attached, check to make sure that the clasp will close correctly on your wrist. If not, remove the clasp and reposition it with the watch band. Once the band and clasp have been securely attached to each other and the clasp closes correctly, you can wear it again with pride. To learn more about watch repair, you can check out esslinger.com's Learning Center today.